three new icon packs that you need on your phone. I make a meme for CM themes and some news we didn't hear about in Google I.O. My name is Marco, this is the My Color Screen channel and welcome to My Color Screen Weekly. First up, we have some tasty new icon packs. Will Windham, aka Stealthy Chief, the designer of the ever so popular Axis icon pack, is back with his brand new icon packs titled Aloha. Appropriately named due to its Hawaiian like colors that I must say look incredible, the pack also features a circular design with the icon images placed on top with a tiny gap, giving off a slight shadow, which just helps these icons pop and creates this awesome 3D effect. Retailing at $1.99, it's a great deal considering that you're getting over 1,650 icons that will be updated weekly, as well as 10 HD wallpapers with cloud-based wallpaper chooser that of course come with Muzu support. Aloha is a great feel-good icon pack that's still fresh on the Google Play Store, so we highly recommend that you and go and get it today. Next up, we have Dot by the infamous designer, The Flash. Over 1,000 carefully crafted, high definition, intuitive, flawless icons. A general circular base with oversized icon images placed on top really gives a truly unique feel to this colorful icon pack. The six wallpapers that come with the pack also enhance the phenomenal looking icons. The flash never settles on anything less than the highest quality and design when it comes to icons, so go and get Dot today. Finally, an immensely impressive icon pack titled Tindia by the popular Ryan M. Kelly has just received its biggest update yet. Now the pack comes with over 950 icons that are now of a much higher resolution. The icon base has now also been modified and a few colors have been tweaked. And of course the dashboard is new and it looks incredible. So go and get this icon pack today if you want to make your phone stand out from the crowd. Oh, and also don't forget that it's currently on sale, which is pretty cool. Next up, CM themes. CM themes everywhere. No, I'm not even joking. There's a lot out right now, but hey, they make your phone look incredible, so I'm not complaining. First up, we have Flattington by Yakovsky. After the success of Yuffie, Yasek decided to try his hand at CM themes, and boy, did he do a good job. Flattington combines an elegant deep red plum color with a leaf green accent here and there. The usual UI has been modified such as the settings, the quick settings, etc. And those signal icons simply look amazing. The color really though impressed me and it's really different from the rest of the CN themes that I've currently seen. So go and give Flattington a try today. I'm sure you'll be impressed. So let's see now, both Screenlicious and Black Bear Blanc have new themes out. I'm gonna try and run by them quickly as I seem to always feature these guys because they always make impressive looking CM themes. Screenlicious has just released Hybrid UI, which is orange, but in a killer cool way. If you can handle that powerful orange color, then you're going to love this new theme. Screenlicious combines some elements from Creature UI as well as Slim UI and added his own unique features to this incredible looking theme. Yeppe, on the other hand, has his new theme titled Skulled, which is equally impressive, boasting red and turquoise neon colors, as well as a dark wallpaper with gray skulls here and there. Really looks awesome. Oh, and there's a coffee mug icon when it's on vibrate. That's incredible. Maybe go check out Yeppe's VIP community too, as you might end up saving a lot of money if you're a fan of his. So go check in the link below for more information. Both themes are amazing, but if you want something free, try out Blianco by MLV. Even though it's free, it still looks very, very good. A theme sticking to that stock feel, Blianco doesn't have that such drastic modifications, which for some can be a good thing. All the popular UI elements though, even the loading spinner and unlock ring receive a change. I like this theme though, and I highly recommend it. Oh, and Flavio, I hope you're happy too. Wow, that was a lot of themes. And then for our interesting story of the week, I thought I'd share with you guys some things that Google didn't highlight at I.O., which I think they kind of should have. First, no Google hardware. I was hoping to hear about some Nexus 8s or that Nexus 9 that was shown, 
But I guess they're still focusing on things like Nest and robotics for now. Android Silver, we kept hearing the death to Nexus in recent reports, but then nothing in I.O. Silver, if you remember, is that program that would offer standards to hardware makers who wanted to put out Google approved flagship devices. So maybe Android One is the stepping stone for Silver? I don't know. Google Glass for the general public. Come on, even after redesign and all the glass wearing guys in the audience, still nothing. I still hope and dream for glass getting below $1,500, but we have to wait and see. And then finally, Android L. Google, please stop playing games with our hearts here. Why all the secrecy? I'm gonna be putting my money on calling it Lollipop, but that still sounds a bit weird. So, I don't know guys, what do you think? And yes, I'm on Android L right now, but I wanna ask you guys, what's been your experiences so far with Android L? Let us know in the comments section below. I'd really like to hear what you guys think. And that concludes this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already. Also, don't forget to check out our various social communities. And it's Marco here from the My Color Screen channel. And as always, don't stop customizing.